Welcome back everyone. So I made this video on my second channel, but it's so important and I just feel like I have to do it on my main channel as well. And you may experience yourself time to time getting pop-ups that look like this. They look like you have an iPhone virus and this is probably why you're watching this video. You probably got some sort of pop-up like this that said this type of thing and you may be freaking out. You may be asking yourself, bro, do I actually have a virus? How do I fix this? Do I have to throw away my phone? I want to tell you right now that iPhone viruses are so rare that if you just went on a website and you know you got a pop-up like this or something, first of all, even if you get a pop-up like this, it's probably not even a virus, dude. Even if you do have a, like, iPhone viruses aren't going to tell you that you have a virus, you know? They're going to basically be in the background. And if your phone starts doing some weird stuff, which we'll get into later on in this video, then that may mean you have a virus. But if you get a pop-up like this, you are probably fine. If you just Google iPhone virus, just like how I did, you will see a ton of these pop-ups. You know, there's just so many people run into it. And it's scary because a lot of people actually make a lot of money from these type of things. By making people think you have a virus, you actually go ahead and have them call you or whatever. You get their credit card. You do not want to deal with that. I can tell you right now, if you have some sort of pop-up like this, you do not have a virus. So if you're watching this video thinking that you have like a virus, because even if you have 50 of these tabs, in reality, you are probably okay. If you went to a website that may be a little sketchy and then you got a pop-up like this, then you're going to be okay. But just to play it safe, what I would recommend doing, typically when there's a pop-up like this, you may have like 50 different pop-ups in your Safari browser. What you would want to do in this case is you want to go into your settings app just like this. You want to scroll down until you get into your Safari tab. So it's typically like right here, as you can see, it's right here. Then what you want to do is you actually want to go ahead and scroll down until you see the little clear history and website data. This is pretty much going to delete everything in your Safari browser. It's not going to delete everything off your phone. It's just going to delete everything off, you know, your Safari browser. So even if there was anything, it's going to go ahead and delete everything from your Safari browser anyway. So you want to go ahead and click here. You want to click there. And then you want to go back into your browser and kind of take note of your phone. If it starts acting weird, then that's a whole different story. But typically, like I stated, you're going to be perfectly fine. And if you get a pop-up like this, you probably don't have a iPhone virus. It's very rare. Now, the next thing is pretty much, like I said before, viruses are so far and few between that unless you're actually installing something like a tweaked app that's like super not on a good page or you install a like unverified jailbreak tweak, then those may contain some viruses every so often. But even then, it's very rare. So what this means is if you ever went to a website that allows you to install tweaked apps, and these tweaked apps can be like the Game Boy Advance simulators, the DS simulators, PSP, whatever, and you install those, and then you realize that your phone is acting a little weird, that's just randomly doing things by itself, maybe, you know, some random apps are being added, maybe it's being weird, whatever the case is, or if you just recently jailbroke your device and you just installed a random tweak and you feel like your phone is being compromised in some sort, this is different than your phone glitching up because of software. If it's a software issue, then it's okay. But if you actually feel like your phone is being compromised of some sort and you feel like you have a virus, the only way to basically remove this virus is to totally delete everything off your phone and factory reset the device. So what this looks like and basically what this process is, is that, okay, you found out you have a virus or you think you have a virus, what you're going to have to do here is pretty much manually back up everything you can. I wouldn't really recommend doing an iCloud backup. I feel like the virus is just going to follow you there because it's embedded in the system. So what you're going to have to do is pretty much manually back up everything you can. Your photos, your iMessages, whatever the case is, you want to back up everything that you can possibly back up manually. And then what I would recommend doing is totally factory resetting your device. So you want to go into your uh, settings. I'm kind of hesitant to show you this because I don't want people to do this right now. But you want to go ahead and go into here. You want to click general. You want to click reset. And then you want to erase all content and settings, but only after you back up everything because this is going to delete everything from your phone. So before you do this, you want to go ahead and back everything up that you can. And then at that point, once it's fully done, it's going to delete everything. So if the virus was there, it's going to delete the virus and you can pretty much start straight. But like I said, it's very, I've never even personally seen an iPhone virus before. They're so rare. It's like you have more of a chance of seeing like, I don't even know, like it's a super rare thing. So in terms of that, that's pretty much what it is. Just a quick little PSA. I would tell you, you probably don't have a virus, but even if you do, there is still hope and you can go ahead and just erase all content and settings and still use your phone as it is. And I almost dropped it. So... 
that's pretty much it. If you guys have any other questions or anything like that, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count, so it means so much if you guys can hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my other channels. More importantly than everything, also love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.